Hello, uh, this is Jennifer here from the Academy of Modern Celebrancy and I'm joined today by the beautiful Laura Bell, ooh, that way, who is from Fox and Star Ceremonies, who trained with the Academy to become a naming celebrant. So hello, Laura. Hello. Um, could you tell us uh, why you decided to become a celebrant and what you did before um, you decided to become a celebrant? Yeah, sure. So I worked in marketing for the last 10 years um, and that's across events. And then also last year I did a season of weddings, which is where kind of celebrancy kind of came up quite a lot because there was a lot of marriages and independent celebrants that were coming on site. For me, the biggest motivation was I really wanted a naming celebrant for my son. I wanted to have a naming ceremony and I couldn't find anyone locally. This was a few years ago. Um, and at the time I was a new mum, I was totally exhausted, <laughs> obviously you know what it's like, um, and I just didn't know where to start. And I just wanted to, to take that on and, you know, do, do something a little bit different for myself and kind of with that aim really to kind of connect families and, and welcome little ones. Yeah, yeah. And it's so, um, it is funny because a lot of people that train as naming celebrants have either been through it themselves or have little ones surrounding them. So, you know, and there are aunties or things like that. So it's a really good way of kind of bringing the family together as well. Um, is that what also appealed you to celebrancy or naming celebrancy is that you could bring families and communities together um, as a focal point rather than having the christenings just as focused on religion. It's actually the child and the family and the community as the focal point. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's really important. And with, with my branding, uh, I kind of use a teepee, which is throughout my, my brand. So if you hire me as your, as your celebrant, your naming ceremonies, um, I've got a little teepee and a little toy box. And I think that's really important to have a little space for the child, because although it's a ceremony, it's obviously a lovely thing to do with all your family there. But children do get restless and, you know, they might want to play or have some time out or sit in the shade. Um, so I've kind of incorporated that into, into my package. Um, so so they can obviously relax and just just that's what it's all about really isn't it it's just it's welcoming them and just making sure it's as relaxed and formal as possible um and just getting across everything you always wanted to say but maybe never had the chance to yeah exactly and what a beautiful way to start their life um and also you've uh, added on things like adoption ceremonies these are things that we also cover in the course so adoption ceremonies maybe transitional ceremonies as well there's lots of things that we can do with a name uh, and a celebration and a ceremony so that's something there's a few other packages that you're offering there as well yeah exactly I know a couple of people who foster and also have adopted children and I think you know that there is it's a huge part of your life to, to, to welcome a child in any which way and again like you say with transition ceremonies to become a new person to become a new identity whether that's change of name or change of gender um, you know, you can bespoke a naming ceremony to kind of any situation you want, really. And I think that's really special. Yeah. And you came up with Fox and Star Ceremonies, which is a really exciting name. What do you look forward to now in the future? I'm really looking forward to kind of getting my brand out there locally and um, connecting with a lot of local people. There's a few um, little local baby and toddler groups and library classes and things like that that I'm trying to get in front of and I just think yeah just just that brand awareness and just knowing that I'm here um, for, for any naming ceremony that anybody would like. Yeah and what appealed to you about the Academy? Why did you decide to train with the Academy of One Celebrancy? Um, so um, I did a quite a lot of research into different um, organisations and yours was the one that came up um, for the celebrant celebrant directory um, and I was also recommended by someone as well um, who, who knew you and she kind of said you know this is what you need and when I went through the course material when I went through your website just it just just shouted everything that I needed really it was distance learning obviously having a toddler um, it was you know balancing things around that and obviously other things so I just found everything that was kind of laid out and then the, the aftercare after as well obviously with you with you know that mentoring and also the documents that that um, the templates and everything like that that have been really really helpful to kind of get me going and give me that inspiration and motivation to to yeah make it a formal formal thing it's good good so you recommend it to anyone who wants that kind of online learning um but also wants to have you know thorough knowledge of how to run a naming ceremony and also that kind of after support too because that's what we've tried to do at the academy is have that full uh full course um, content but also that business support at the end 
Um, and that's what you would recommend to anybody who's looking for that type of experience. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think, I think it's the full package and highly, highly recommend it. And I'm using, even considering going on to the next step, which is the, the, the marriage one. Um, so the wedding celebrancy course. Um, so I'm looking into that for my kind of future business growth. So yeah, I, I can't wait to get started on that. <laughs> well, it's been wonderful having you through as a student and I'm so excited for your future working as a naming celebrant and also hopefully in the future a wedding celebrant. Um, can't wait to follow your growth. So thank you so much, Laura. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> right, how do I stop my recording? <sighs> Hold on. Thank you.